Hi family, it's Ari, and it's a blessing to be with you here again today. Um, I've been in the book of Nehemiah in my personal devotion, so I'd love to share a few things that the Lord has just uh, put on my heart. Um, but before we begin, why don't we pray? Well, Father, we thank you, God, uh, for giving us your your mercies this new day, Lord. And, and we just, uh, we give you thanks for who you are, Lord, as we um, as we fight this battle, Lord, of, um, of spiritual warfare, Lord, uh, Lord, as you uh, provide for your work to be done, Lord, we, we give you thanks and we look into your word and pray that you would strengthen us and um, help us to stand in the full armor of God, Lord. And um, we, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, as I said, I've been in the book of Nehemiah, and it really struck me the way that he um, prepared these these men uh, rebuilding the wall, um, and as he led them uh, with the attacks of the enemy. So, uh, before we get into that, just a background. You know, first Nehemiah had a great burden. You know, when he heard that the the state of Jerusalem, you know, with the destroyed wall, with the spiritual state of the people. He had a great passion. He wept, you know, for days and, and he prayed. He was a man of prayer and also a man of action. He, he came before the king in boldness, in, um, in great faith. And he, he stepped out and he presented his desire to see the wall being rebuilt. And he also um, was a man of diligence as he led the people, as they worked on the wall. Um, he trusted in the Lord. It was all from his place of devotion to God. And he was serving for God. It was not his own work. Uh, now, everything was provided for. You know, all the materials, the people uh, working on the wall, that was provided for. The, the uh, clearance of the king. You know, he, he had everything um, set before him in order to do this work for God. And it was all by God's provision. And yet there was still um, the enemy's plot against them. So Nehemiah deals with, you know, needing to be on guard. He makes sure, uh, makes sure that they have, you know, watchmen, that they have, you know, plenty of weapons to protect them. So, um, you know, he has this resolve of protecting, you know, this wall, this work. Uh, he tells the people, he encourages them, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. So he has this trust in the Lord, but he also has a practical step of, you know, protecting and the strategy of coming against the enemy's um, strategy for them. And it reminded me of Ephesians 6, you know, when we have um, this work that we're walking forward in and when we're just, you know, walking with the Lord uh, day by day, we have to put on the full armor of God. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. And so then he describes the armor that we're to put on. And it's a good reminder, each step, you know, each part of this armor to put on it says, having your waist with truth, or having girded your waist with truth, having put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to the end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. So every part of this armor 
you know, we're to remind ourselves to put on daily because there is, you know, a, a real war, um, a real battle that we're fighting in. And one of my favorite parts of this is having girded your waist with truth. Now, we're, the word of God is our truth. And uh, we need to remind ourselves of it daily. And looking at the body, the stomach and intestines are actually its own or nervous system. It's called the enteric nervous system. And it's deeply connected to the brain by a networks of nerve pathways. And these two nervous systems, you know, the, the brain, the, um, the stomach and intestines, they share many of the same neurotransmitters. And actually 95% of serotonin is found in the stomach and intestines. And so it's really interesting to see, you know, where to gird our waist with truth, you know, the stomach and intestines part, you know, because that is where, you know, if we're nervous, if we're anxious, you know, our appetite changes, we'll, we'll get stomach aches. And so it's a great reminder, you know, where do we have our emotional decisions? Where do we, you know, hold our emotion or our anxiety? You know, we need to cover that with the truth. That's part of the armor. And so, you know, it's the truth. It's the shield of faith, breastplate of righteousness, all of the things that we are, we're covered in his righteousness. And that is how we fight our battles. Uh, so I know this was a little bit scattered, but just uh, just looking at Nehemiah's life, um, you know, his burden, his passion, and his work was sustained. He was able to continue to stand steadfastly in the work of God because he had um, he knew who God was. He walked in um, in God's faithfulness, and uh, he was faithful and diligent. Um, in walking in that battle. So I just hope that encourages you. And um, yeah, why don't we pray? Oh, Lord, we thank you that you have given us every resource to do your will. Lord, you have not only provided um, for the work, but you sustain us in the work. Lord, you, uh, you protect us from the enemy's schemes, Lord. And God, we walk confidently in you. And so, Father, we give you you thanks and pray that you would just um, bless us as we walk forward today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, family, I love you and I will see you soon.